Hello tech kids, welcome back to Elfing Code and thank you for joining me today to discuss a very important and trendy topic from the tech world. This is AI software engineer, your peer. Uh, let's see whether he will become a kind of, you know, your peer or not. We'll evaluate uh, this on the basis of the data which we have uh, uh, received. Um, and uh, a little brief about uh, this AI uh, software engineer. It, was, it is developed by a team from the Applied AI uh, Lab. Um, uh, the name is Cognition from the San Francisco. And uh, they had committed that uh, it is scoring 13.86 near to 14 uh, in software engineering benchmark, uh, which means that uh, if you give 100 problem, uh, it is able to solve correctly without any kind of you know human uh, assistance, the 14 problem, which is very, very good. Uh, you know, as per all other models uh, i mean because if you see the chat gpt score it is like one point um nine six is kind of unassisted and uh, near to four as uh, assisted uh, number so 14 uh, 13 point eight six near to 14 is something really good to see okay and uh, uh, yeah so this is a kind of you know a little brief about uh, this it was released uh, two days back only and they had also asked that if you want to try out uh, to solve your problem with the help of Devin you can always uh, you know add yourself to the waiting list and as and when they will be having the uh, free uh, time or uh, kind of you know having the exhaust of the wait list you will get a chance to you know um, uh, uh, try 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 your hand on this devin software engineer <laughs> okay now uh, i'll say that uh, i've already studied all the kind of you know uh, thing which is which devin has uh, i'll just take a scenario i mean if you're a software engineer and we are working on a particular piece of work uh, a system you are building so what exactly you will be needing your requirement is the first component correct the second component is your uh, planning planning which consists of all the action which you need to perform to develop that system okay third would be uh, your coding um, editor you will be needing coding editor to code uh, all those action which you have written on your uh, planner okay and uh fourth would be uh, your uh, cell where you will be executing all your code and everything and then you will be needing a browser in case if you are stuck with any kind of you know issue you can uh, go google it out uh, and find the solution implement the solution to see uh, if the bugs or anything i mean going out or not so these are the five components which in in general a software engineer will be needing to complete uh, his um, you know his work uh, when he's designing some kind of software so um, so devin is also having some kind of component and it is exactly similar to what uh, a software engineer needs so Devin is equipped with five different component one the chat window okay so the chat window is something where he will be taking the requirement so let's suppose if I'm working I need to uh, segregate or kind of you know bifurcate my work into two part 50% I will be doing and 50% my uh, my peer I want to I want my peer to develop 50% for me then what I will be doing I'll be uh, uh, writing all those uh, you know all those uh, requirement and pass it to my peer okay so same way Devin is my peer let's say so I will be using a chat channel okay so there will be a chat uh, channel which Devin is already having in its uh, own platform so i'll be putting the requirement and then he will be questioning me in case if he's having any kind of doubt in doubt in those requirement okay so i'll be clearing all his doubt once all the doubts are cleared devin will be saying that yeah i'm done i'm done uh, with the requirement i understand what is your requirement okay so on the basis of those requirement which he will be getting from me he will be creating a planner okay so those planner will be having a kind of actions item Okay, so this is the second component, planner. Okay, the first component, uh, the chart. Okay, where he will be taking the requirement. The second component is uh, your uh, planner. Okay, so in the planner, he will be writing all the action which he need to perform to complete his task. Okay, so second component is planner. Now the third component. So third component is your code editor. Okay, now he is having his own code editor. So he will start writing the code to implement all those action which he, he has written his in his planner. Okay, so third is a, uh, a code editor. So this is also is uh, uh, having okay the fourth one is shell now why shell is required because he need to execute those codes so he will be executing the code in 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 the shell okay now let's suppose if uh, he's so this is the fourth component okay shell where he will be doing all kind of you know, operation uh, operation and executing the code creating some kind of directory accessing some kind of you know uh, source and all those um, uh, so, so on so forth so now let's suppose uh, Devin is um, uh, facing some kind of issue in his code because he's writing the code, correct? He's writing the code. So let's suppose he's uh, finding some kind of bugs in his uh, program. So what he will be doing, he will try to debug his own code. So how you are doing debug of your code, you put uh, kind of, you know, debuggers or kind of, you know, print statement, uh, um, you know, where you uh, where you think that uh, 
you know issue or error has occurred so you put a print statement uh, and see all those kind of you know uh, error which you are getting in your program similarly devin also put the print statement and see uh, till where the um, uh, the code is code is getting executed correctly and from where it is getting you know creating some kind of uh, issues be it logical issues or kind of you know syntactical issue or any kind of issues then in case if he's able to get all those error then what it will do it will take those error because you need to rectify those error also he, he will be taking the error and then comes the fifth component your browser so he's having the browser also integrated with it so you'll take the code the error the error codes it will he, he will uh, put it to his um, own uh, editor and then uh, he will be um, uh, you know after putting the um, putting the error in the uh, uh, in the browser he will be finding out all the all those solutions which are existing or which have already been given um, by different software engineers okay so like i mean we go to the uh, google we uh, search for those as we get it uh, get the solution either from one side or other side from stack overflow and all so he get all those solution he tries to put those solution in his own uh, bug code okay and then try to recompile his uh, program so once he's done that uh, okay now the error is resolved then what he will be doing he will be pushing that code to the uh, get repository because that is something which he need to do okay along with it he will also write the uh, test case okay so once that is done I mean it is a, a free code he will start writing the test code for his own program so when everything is done he will then put, push the code to the git repository now when he is pushing the code to the git repository he will be asking for username and password to you okay so in in the entire process he will keep you updating as well so he is having that chat um, uh, you know chat messenger component uh, integrated with you uh, where he is taking all the requirement from you so that is the platform where he will also interact while he is doing everything so he will keep posting uh, about uh, the update i mean uh, this much of uh, code is already done this is uh, these actions are already done so like this so it will be pushing the code to the git repository and finally uh, passing the information of completion so so basically it is doing exactly similar thing what a software engineer is doing so i can i can take help uh, of devin as a peer to me so I'll, I'll be sitting here okay and devin will be uh, let's say sitting uh, next to me virtually and he is doing 50 percent of the code and 50 percent of the code uh, is being done by uh, kind of me but there's a difference now what's the difference is i being a human i have a capacity to work for eight hours or nine hours a day but being devin a kind of you know software engineer which is powered by uh, ai he is um, he never get tired so he can work for 24 hours okay so let's suppose to complete that 50 percent time i need two days which is equal to 16 hours okay 16 hours he will be able to do the same task in a single day because he won't be stopping he'll keep on doing unless he complete correct unless you stop okay so he, he will be completing that task in uh, 16 hours um, in a stretch without in without getting tired so th these are the advantage uh, of the ai software engineer okay so l let's see i mean this looks very fascinating because um, here you see that you you actually don't need any kind of software uh, engineer uh, you have the task because you are interacting here it is like you are interacting uh, in between also you are interacting and he's also giving you update so that's a very good uh, you know thought process which was put uh, uh, you know behind uh, when uh, the engineers from this um, cognition technology are working uh, we're working to develop this uh, uh, solution so they have considered all this uh, you know general uh, scenario of how software engineer was what all tools they require to complete their work and all those things uh, one more thing uh, on this um, uh, AI enabled uh, software engineer, uh, it has the capability to learn as well. So let's suppose you are saying that um, uh, you want to extract data from this or that API. So if he's not, uh, um, if he's not knowing the API's uh, endpoints, so he will be asking from where he can learn those endpoints. Okay. So when, when you give the information that you can go to this, this, this place to understand the endpoints and all, he will go and learn and then start uh, doing the coding so he has that capacity also just similar to a software engineer a human software engineer if we don't know something we go and check it out the documentation go to the website learn and then we do code similarly here also he has the capability okay so this is all based on the um, agi and generative ai okay so it has um, uh, i mean un uh, underlying the uh, the underlying technology would be one or other llm and it is built on top of uh, all those llm uh, it's a it's a 
it's a very very good uh, gen ai use cases which i can see um, but let's see i mean people have not tried out yet uh, this is just the demonstration which we have received uh, um, uh, from the engineers of uh, cognition and uh, we are evaluating on those on the basis of uh, uh, that uh, demonstration uh, but um, once we get the access to uh, you know try out this devin ai we will see how practical it is to use but uh, the uh, the use case or the kind of business case is brilliant because it is exactly doing the same what software engineer is doing so maybe i won't say that it is going to be it is going to replace the software engineer but it will be extremely helpful for any software engineer to share his work and um, uh, yeah i mean uh, that's what i can see um, I, uh, yeah i mean I, I i'm just waiting to get a more update uh, on 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 this uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video i'll be bringing out uh, further update once i have uh, update on 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 this uh, devin ai software engineer thank you for watching uh, elfin code and do subscribe uh, to receive such kind of you know updates uh, from the tech industry uh, thank you bye